Hi, in this video I'm hoping to show you how to change the material, the blackout material, in the cassettes that come with caravans. What you will need is the cassette taken off the wall, some um, a roller blind, now though I bought mine from Dunelm and just cut the material out but as long as it's the material you want that's fine. You'll need a long ruler, a pen, some scissors, a flat bladed screwdriver, a screwdriver with a very small end and that's for undoing the canister. Sometimes the brackets are quite difficult to get off the wall so I tend to use this to access the screws um, if they're a bit tricky, particularly useful for those behind the uh, cupboards. And then two pairs of pliers I've got here, the flat nose and the pointed nose if you've got some. The first thing you need to do is to detension the rollers. These brackets on the end here are little plastic plugs which click into place into the unit. So those need to be very carefully um, released they will have a lot of tension in them. They might well bite your fingers and they might well fly across the room. So please do be careful. If you want to uh, take the opportunity to clean the fly screen as well, you'll need to take both of these off. Otherwise, just take the roller blind one. OK, so I usually use a pair of pliers for that, possibly a, the flat node screwdriver as well, just to gently um, twist and release that lug. I've now released the roller blind, roller blind lug um, and you'll see it's popped right out of its case. The plastic lug comes off um, and that just keep it safe. The next thing to do is to undo these little screws here. Now, if you're taking out both blinds, then you need to take those. You can take those three off. Otherwise, just loosen them up because if you take off all three, then the fly screen one will pop out as well. We don't necessarily want that to happen. You need to undo them just enough so that there's enough give in that bar to come, up, come apart gently from the other end. Once you've released the screws from the, that end, if you go to the other end of the unit, you will see that there is a little plastic um, pin that fits into the other, other end of the unit. Now, a little bit of pressure to the side will hopefully release that so that you can remove that roller blind from the cassette. I've now taken the roller blind out of the cassette and you need to take the, the both the rails, the bottom rail and the central pole out. And it's very simple to do. These end pieces just pull out with a pair of pliers. Also remove this plastic lug here with a pair of pliers. The sections of the roller will now come apart, they just sl unslide um, very easily. So you have your base bar, bottom bar, you have your spindle and you have your old blackout material. Now at both ends of the blackout material you have a seam with a little piece of plastic cord that goes into it. You need to take those out because you'll need those for your new blind. Just pulls out like that, one from each end. The next thing to do is to cut out the material for your new blind. So I've unrolled the blind that I've bought and on top of that I've put the old blackout blind. Now it's important that you rule um, a seam allowance at either end. I've used the width of the ruler, it doesn't really matter how big that is, um, but it's just big enough to have the plastic cord in and some sort of fixing. So I've, I use um, double-sided sticky tape, you can use glue, um, whatever you happen to have available. It's now time to attach the uh, bars to your new blind. Now it's really important that you get these the right way around. I don't know whether the all cassettes are the same, but certainly for my one, you want to have the wrong side of the blind material facing up. You want the spindle end of the roller on the left. Okay, you then take your little piece of plastic um, wire and you line it up against the line that you had, should have marked on your material. You then fold along that and keeping that wire, I'm going to have to put the phone down, 
in a moment to do this. But you keep that plastic lined up. You won't be able to move it afterwards to adjust into there and you slide it into the channel here on the roller. It's quite tricky to do. You might need pliers to help you. Okay, so I've now put that channel through and it's all sitting there nice and flat. Now, it's a good idea to glue the um, loose edge there down, as I say, with double-sided sticky tape or with glue. I found it much easier to put it in place before you stick it rather than afterwards. Okay, so I've now reattached both ends of the blind and returned the plastic lugs on each end of the bottom bar and at the end of the, of the roller. When you roll up your blind, you must make sure that the bit that's showing is the inside, not the outside. So you're rolling it that way, okay? Roll it up, ready to go back into its canister. So it's now time to reassemble the blind together into its canister. So once your blind is rolled up, the spindle end goes into the hole on the right hand side of the canister and then the other end should slot back into its hole on the left. Don't worry too much at this stage if it comes a little bit undone. You now need to do the screws up again on this end to hold it firm. It's now time to retension the roller. Put the plastic lug back on the end of the spindle and make sure that it's the right way round. The um, extruded bits, exposed bits, should be towards the cassette. Now this is probably the most difficult part of the whole thing because as you tension the a spindle, it's going to want to spin back. I've found the easiest way to do this is to use a pair of pliers to grip onto the spindle to hold it in place and then wind the plastic lug um, so that it winds the roller blind up at the same time. It takes a little bit of practice, a bit of coordination, um, but the pliers will hopefully stop it from unspinning again as you go. Okay, so it's now fully tensioned and you can see I'm using the narrow nose pliers to push that lug back into its place. Okay, and if you just push it down gently, it should click into place under its own tension. That is now complete and you should find that the blind will pull down nicely.